Okay, everyone. Um, doing another video here on what's in my pack. Uh, it's just a gear update. Um, no real major changes to the gear I'm carrying. A um, few small things here and there. Like I said, nothing major though. Um, no bigger, no big switches of any kind, really, gear-wise, uh, except for cooking gear. Um, most people that know me know I'm I'm horrible when it comes to cooking gear. I switch out my cooking gear like women switch out purses. It just it's a never-ending quest for me to find the ultimate cooking setup, and it probably will never end. It's probably it's my kryptonite when it comes to backpacking gear. Uh, I'm I'm a stove and pot junkie, <laughs> along with other gear, but I'm really bad when it comes to stoves and pots. Um, but let's go through some of the gear. I got some cheat sheets here on weight, so if you see here paper flapping around, that's me just trying to get the proper weights here for you, so I'm not giving you some false information. Um, we'll start over on the couch here. My pack, ULA conduit. I use this pack all year round. Um, I very rarely do week-long trips. I've only done one or two in my lifetime. Usually it's two, three days. So this pack here, even in the winter time, I could squeeze two, three days of food and everything I need in this pack in the winter time. So I've really never had a, a chance or a real need to upgrade to a big pack. So this pack is actually very serviceable for me. Um, some stuff, stuff sacks for my quilts. Um, I try to stuff them down as small as possible to save way, uh, room in my pack because like I said I'm only using a ULA conduit. Uh, my hanky. Uh, I got the idea from Dutch to put a sewed a little tab on it so I can hang it off my pack to dry. Thanks for the idea buddy. My quilts. Jacks are better Hudson River and my winter crow's nest with two ounces of overstuff which is so warm in the winter this quilt is awesome um, one of my favorite quilts um, it's definitely a staple with my winter gear um, it, it'll I never leave home without it in the winter time when it comes to camp, uh, camping or backpacking the thing is just awesome um, oh yeah weights 22 ounces this is the long uh, 24 at point five ounces um, both weights are with stuff sacks um, yeah it's a heavy under quilt but the sucker has almost six inches of loft I mean I could take it down to negative 15 easily and be warm so there's real no need for uh, anything else under me but that um, stuff sacks are included in the weight there ULA conduit it's a large medium large um, pretty much cut down nothing that I don't need is on it everything is trimmed down it's 16.8 ounces trimmed and the pad is dual purpose. I use that in the foot box of my quilt to extend the warmth of the foot box of my quilt because that is only a three-fourths length under quilt. Um, gear on the table, my bear bag system. In the winter time, I don't need that. I just have it there to have it. Um, one ounce. My cooking setup. Let's see here. What is the cooking setup with the pot, the cozy, the cat can stove, which is there. My pot grabber, as you can see, I cut some off it and I drilled a lot of holes in it, which took it under an ounce. Uh, my lighter, my windscreen, and my uh, very fashionable Dairy Queen spoon, which, awesome spoon. And also my lemonade bowl. That all comes in at 7 point, oh, what is it, weight on it, jeez, I'm all lost here, I'm sorry. 8.4 ounces for my entire cook kit everything you see here. I could go a little lighter and use a Heineken can pot setup I have but I really like eating out of this pot. It's real nice, fits good in the hand. It's three cups so I could do a lot of water with it. Um, my do-it-yourself filter, water gra uh, gravity filter. I have a video on this. The only thing I changed on it is I seam sealed it to stop it from leaking here and there. 7.5 ounces with the stuff sack. My two water bottles are three ounces combined. Um, use Gatorade bottles. Uh, what else do I have here? Just small stuff in my ditty bag, you know, my fire kit. This is my first aid kit slash repair kit. There's tape in there and stuff like that. Um, my toiletries and my hygiene kit. All that comes in at 8.2 ounces in a spin Mountain Laurel Design stuff sack. Uh, my do-it-yourself hammock. It's a 1.9 ounce hammock. It's actually modeled to the Warbonnet Traveler. Um, Mad Cat Deluxe. 
four stakes. The hammock is 4.4 ounces with suspension and all. Tarp is like 15 ounces with the stakes and all. Uh, I just put new guidelines on it, the no tangle, uh, to lighten it up a little and helped out a lot. Real nice setup. Some stuff that goes in my pockets, like I said, Swiss Army Classic, it's a staple. I'm going to start carrying this in the winter time, play around with it. I usually have one or two wet wipes in my in my pocket just so they're easy access, I can grab it. Um, my headlamp of choice, Petzli Light, love the thing. Um, just a small compass and thermometer, it's all you really need when you're on the Appalachian Trail. All the trails are well marked. My ultralight wallet that I put my money keys and my pills in. Um, and my Just Jeff pack cover slash gear hammock, which is about 2.8 ounces with everything. Um, this is 3.2 ounce, 0.7, 1, God, don't even register. And this stuff is like 0.2 ounces too. So all together, let me see my figures here on my piece of paper. For the winner, with all this gear here, comes in at 103.7 ounces, which is six pounds, 7.7 .7 ounces with all this stuff here, which is pretty much next to nothing weight wise. Um, now this doesn't conclude my water, it includes the bottles, but not the water. Uh, and my other consumables like fuel uh, and food. Uh, food, I'm usually about one to 1.3 three pounds per day, um, usually around one pound per day. I only really eat one big meal. I snack most of the day. Um, I usually maybe in, you know, in the wintertime oatmeal in the morning or, uh, or a power bar, something like that. Coffee is a definite staple in the morning for me. Um, lunch, something quick. Usually, like I said, I snack. If I stop to make lunch, it's something stupid. Like I'll take ramen noodles. They weigh next to nothing. Take a pack, eat them for lunch. Normally it's beef jerky and junk food all day. You know, high energy stuff like GORP. Um, so, food really isn't, there's not a lot of big meals. Like, only one really when I stop at night. I love to have a nice hot meal. I can't do cold meals all day. I gotta have a hot meal at the end of the day. So, definite, you know, big fan of hot meals. Um, water filter, I know I was talking to Raul and we talked about, you know, well, how do you keep it from freezing in the wintertime? Um, Normally, it rides in the pack until the first use. After the first use, as you can see, I got a dry sack for it. Um, that sucker gets wrapped up and then thrown in my pocket and kept on me to keep it dry. Uh, well, not keep it dry, but keep it from freezing. Um, the water is constantly flowing through it, so it's not going to freeze right away. Um, you know, you use it, you know, fill your bottles up and everything, and then throw it in, you know, throw it inside the hammock with you under your quilts. It, it'll stay it'll keep from freezing overnight along with the water water I'll usually through my extra socks put them over helps keep them from freezing um, extra clothing items that I take um, definitely take a Patagonian down sweater probably one of my favorite pieces of gear that I bought last year um, extra socks is a definite and maybe an extra base wear if you're lucky Other, everything else I wear um, if I can't wear everything I have at the same time, it doesn't go with me. I, I, that's just one of my philosophies of backpacking. Um, I'm constantly moving, so it's not like I gotta take huge base layers and everything with me. Um, at night, usually, I try to make a fire. If not, I could get climb in my quilts in my hammock and stay warm, cook a hot meal, you know, climb in for the night, you're good to go. Um, normally, but I do like to try to make a fire if I can. Um, like I said, it's just a quick layout of what I'm carrying and what my base weight is really. Um, summertime obviously it's going to drop a little. I'm not going to take such big quilts. I'll probably take you know a summer quilt which I made one but I ended up selling it because I wanted something a little different. I wanted to try something different. So I'm going to make another one next year with probably one inch baffles instead of sewing through. I wasn't really a big fan of sewing through design and my summer quilt under quilt is only 11 ounces it only has four ounces of down in it I could actually use it to about 35 degrees but once I get about 40 degrees at night I really I switch out to the crow's nest the winter crow's nest and just get it over with because the temperature could drop more without you know notice and I rather just have that extra warmth and protection and I'll take the penalty of the weight 
uh, like I said, it's overall this is it. And thanks a lot, guys.